Hi there, today's lesson is going to be purely about functionality within the dashboard. So I'm just going to show you a couple of um, tricks in that that you can um, use in the dashboard. Uh, firstly, what we're going to look at is resizing the dashboard because we have different um, screen sizes. So all you've got to do is you go onto the dashboard, you right click, you got to indicate a list or you just uh, press Control i on your keyboard. You come up, here's the dashboard here, you double click on it, and there where it says font size, okay, just feed in a number, say for instance 5, if you want to make it bigger, you feed in a larger number, and press OK, and voila, there, it's smaller. You want to change it back, go in, okay, 8, and we're back again. Okay, the next thing we want to look at is changing the um, indices. Um, for instance, the expiry on the on the indices, because unlike the um, other platform I had, these indices that you see here, the DAO, the S&P, and that um, have three-month contracts, and they expire at the end of those contracts. So you'll receive a message on your dashboard telling you that it's about to expire. If, however, it isn't working, um, like for instance oil expires every month and we'll just go and have a look at how to change that so you just right click again go into the indicator double click and then you scroll down here um, till you see where it says okay that user symbol we'll go into that just now these are the user indices and they normally expire around the 17th every quarter so for instance now you've got gold won't expire so you don't have to change that but Oil expires every month. All right, so every month you'd have to uh, update this. This is now March, so it's March 11, 2011, and next month it will be April, APR 1-1. Um, now the S&P 500, the next one will be um, March, April, May, it'll be June. Okay, so it'll be J-U-N when that one expires and so on. So you've just got to change these every three months and the um, oil symbol there just you leave the WTI dash you just change the actual uh, month over there okay now I'm going to show you something that's um, quite unique uh, it's a user defined field so you see over here we've got the Nikkei that's your user defined field and you'll see it when we go into the in indicator itself you can change this to anything that you want. The rest of these are fixed, but this one you can change. And that is really very um, useful. So if you click on this, this market watch over here, these are all the different symbols and indices. So you can put on um, whatever's on Broco. You can put on a, um, if you want a particular share, you can put that in. You just use the symbol that's over there, like Yahoo, for instance, you can put that in. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one of our new uh, indices that have been updated here, and this is the US dollar index. So it's USIDX March 11, dash March 11. And the way you change it is right click, indicators, go in there, and you scroll down till you get to here it says user indices. So the user symbol would be this symbol here. So I'm going to change that to, must be in caps. USD, USI, DX, same as they've got there, dash MAR11, okay? And then the actual user indice, that's your title that you're going to use that's going to appear on the dash dashboard. So I'm just going to put in the USD index, okay? Uh, sorry. Okay, and I'm going to click OK, and you'll see there, it's updated it. Now, it takes a while for the uh, to normalize, and but uh, basically then you've got your USD index, okay? And that's only on the five minute. We're going to include the different um, heat map signals over there later. And you can put in anything you want there. So here we've got, it's oil, we've got the VIX index, you can put in silver, copper, uh, they've got um, treasury notes, have you a five-year treasury notes and bonds, 
30 year um, T bonds and whatever's here you can put in to this in this uh, indice over here and it will appear the next thing I want to show you is how to set the alarms all right um, so well before we do it let's uh, set the actual this graph over here you just go in there now this graph is a combination you can have a combination of any three time frames all you do is you scroll down here to where it says TF one two and three and if you only want one one time frame okay you just for instance we've just got one time frame you have got five but if you want a combination of say three time frames so you feed in one say five and 15 and then your look back is how far how sensitive you want it to be so that's the amount of bars that it's going to look back so it the more amount of bars that you look back the more sensitive it's going to be and the more it's going to fluctuate and then all you do is you click on OK and now what will happen okay if it takes a bit of time for it to load once you've put in the difference on, on the first load it'll take quite a while for all to gather all the information from the various sources so just be patient and allow um, around five minutes or so for it to gather all the all the, the data um, okay now the next thing is uh, we want to activate the alarms now the alarms work specifically off of your settings that you've put in on your graphs over here okay so it doesn't work off what you've put in on your heat map it works off what what you've set on your graph again you just right click go into your indicator double click go down so let's say for instance you wanted to know when let's just go back here every time the um, US dollar went over say 150 or when the um, pound went over 100 let's just say for example um, or the opposite maybe the euro went uh, below 100 or above 100 you can set both alarms all right so you go in I'm gonna go I'm gonna set the US just the US dollar just for an example all these are set to a thousand that's a default so that's um, out of the way all right so I'll set my upper level on the US dollar to 150 and the lower level to minus say 150 minus 150 and then you've got to also set how often you want it to check to see if that value is correct or not so it's the default is set at 300 seconds so that's every five minutes it will check and then it will see is it above or below that level and if it if it meets the criteria it's it um, gives you an alarm the alarm here you just click on you say true if you want to enable GSpeak, which basically speaks to you, it's an electronic voice, you can do that, but it uses a lot of resources. I normally don't use it anymore because of the resource allocation. And then you can enable emails if you want as well. All right, so I just click close there. And I just reset it so um to 100 now because while we were setting it it went below 100 okay so i'm gonna click ok and there you go there's your pop-up there it says alert usd above level and it gives you the level 114 okay and then in five minutes time it will it will check again if it meets the criteria it will sound an alarm if it goes below the other criteria it's, criteria will also um, uh, sound an alarm you can set it for every one of the currencies not the indices only the currencies okay just another thing here this tells you this corner up here you'll see it says m15 and 15 and in brackets 20 there those are the selected time frames that you wanted to use in this chart all right this look back over here as I said handles the sensitivity as far as volatility is concerned so if there's if you want it to be very sensitive you obviously set a higher look back 
around 15 or 20 is quite a good uh, look back and the levels that you want to be looking at um, is around you want to take notice when it goes over about 150 150 200 250 that's starting to get um, very volatile and then you want to have a look at that uh, now I just want to show you the heat map the heat map basically is the same as this except it's in a numerical format and, a, and, and in a grid and it gives you all the numbers now all these various colors don't worry too much about them the more sort of uh, darker it gets and red um, if it's a negative number it's obviously um, uh, more on the short it's, it's for a short on that uh, specific uh, currency or indice or if it's getting lighter or more uh, green so whites grays blues um, going towards green that would be a um, for, for long signals and the opposite for these are short signals all right so now we want to just set our heat map over here same thing go in there scroll down where it says heat map you want to activate say one minute heat map just go to true please don't try and set them all at once it will freeze your platform so just go into your one minute and there you see it's updated the one minute go again go down let's just say I wanted to um, look at 15 minutes I go down to my heat map Okay, these heat map, I just go into true, so okay, and then you wait for it to update. Sometimes it will take take a while for it to update if it doesn't have all the data. All right, so just be, please be patient. There you have, and you can go and you can activate all of the um, various time frames from one minute to one day, and it will show you the volatility with a 20 look back that you set over here. Um, for each and every time frame so you can see exactly what is the most volatile um, going short or long on any single indice including your um, uh, customized uh, index that you use here which I've chosen this US dollar index um, and then at the bottom here it gives you the average of what you've selected so we've selected 1 5 and 15 you can see on the New Zealand dollar there at 76 so it'll be the same here because we selected three time frames over there and this average will be the same as the graph here but if I select more time frames you obviously will get a different um, average at the bottom here okay so that is your basics of how the um, dashboard works and all the um, the ways that you can reset and set and add and subtract um, time frames, indices, etc., and set your alarms. Um, also, just uh, when you exit the uh, dashboard, just apply the dashboard correlator, the template, because um, if you don't do that and you have too many time frames open, what will happen is you will get a an issue